sitting. Yeah, it looks brand. It's been sitting since 1962 Holy uh, when he designed it. And it's a full set. Let me go all the way. Yeah, I see that. Fragile? No. Nope. Never. <laughs> Not fragile. Don't worry about it. Okay. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. I don't even know what this thing is, but it looks expensive. I actually have you take it out. Alright, this guy said he hit a sale. Didn't go too great. And he has a bunch of stuff that's very interesting. You hate to see throw in the trash, so I'm gonna go check it out. I see this lawn jacket right here. He looks pretty cool. How we doing? Robert. Robert. I apologize for my delay in reaching out or getting here on time. Nice to so, meet you. We're having some doggies. Uh, yeah, my so the story is my great uncle lived here. He died at 100 years and six months, and I wow. took care of him for nine years. What an awesome life, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, better than COVID-19 death. But yeah. My mother just died from COVID-19. I'm sorry and, to hear that. Uh, well, you know, she died alone, and that's the insidious nature of the illness. And a lot of people don't realize how important wearing masks are if you're out in public and that kind of stuff. Yeah, you're at mine. Well, I'm not. I'm not. You know, we're outside. I'm not. It's not that big a deal for me. It's just that, you know, there are other people that are like, eh, why does anybody ever wear a mask? So anyway, had a garage sale. Really big turnout. Had a lot of stuff left over. Um, one of the, the garage sale listings didn't hit the right time, so it never got posted. Okay. To, so, bunch of smalls. This is stuff left in the garage. Um, I don't know... You know, feel free to take a look around, and I don't know how you guys normally operate. Well, I'll take a look. So you just had everything in the garage, or stuff inside too? Uh, there is stuff inside also. We just uh, we had, you know stage to bring stuff out and. Musty, but yeah, there was a water issue. Um, there's a you know, if you need a flashlight beyond your, your phone. I am taking the clock. I see it says sold. That's good. A little clock, and guy. this grape lamp because I remember that from 50 years ago. Wow, I'm going to relamp it and put it in my man cave. That's pretty cool. And the little grapes light up. Yeah, they do. It's, uh, yeah, the grapes light up and I can relamp them. But anyway, so yeah, it's a neat piece. Yeah, I mean, how many of those you ever see, you know? Uh, that's First one I've ever seen. Only one I've ever seen in my lifetime. And I've seen a lot. I mean, there's a lot of interesting things that would go well for, like these are old vintage bottles that would be great for stagecraft. Unfortunately, they don't, you know, nobody's going to drink them, but, you know, I, I don't know. Some old wine. There's some nice piles.
got the sheep. Yeah, that was made by a family person. Looks like someone bought your Hummels. Uh, actually, I think somebody stole my Hummels. Oh. You think someone stole them? Yeah, I think somebody forced them. Because they was in there, you're saying? Oh, well, you can see the marks. Yeah. You can see the... That was some of the stuff that didn't go. Well... But hey, you know what? There's the one couple I know. They look sweet as can be, this elderly couple, and they're one of the biggest thieves. Yeah, there are people that are like that. Yeah, you just, you want to expect it, but... I took out the extremely valuable stuff first, so... Well, that's the best thing to do. Yeah, somebody... stuff is of value some of it clearly is not yeah big dumpster or somebody that says yeah you know let's see what we got keep the torch lit too bad huh got yeah, broken right there that's pretty cool or when they were raising money. You said 101 years old, huh? 100 years and six months. Six months. Whew. His sister died at 96, and they were brother and sister, both widowed. Man. I took care of them for about nine years. Wow, good genes. So they could stay at home. Well, they were in, they were um, apparently by marriage, not by by blood. Huh. But my family also has longevity. My great grandmother died at 106. Wow. 106 years old, unbelievable. Jimmy Card, Dwight the Eisenhower, JFK. Franciscan wear. Yeah, that's Apple Franciscan. They made another one um, that was roses. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, some people collect that stuff. It has some value. It, it does. The other, you know, I thought about getting it to uh, people down in North Carolina, but I'm like, yeah, you got to drive it there because of all the volume that's going to make me see it. It's a different style lamp there. So then you get the guy that has to clean out everything, huh? Yeah. Then you gotta try to sell the house, or you already have it sold? Uh, it's under an offer, but we're still uh, we're still going back and forth about it. So you never know until the until I get the close. Yeah, you gotta get the ink on the contract. They say it's still a strong market, so there's no inventory. That's everyone's complaint. All the realtors I know. They just don't have uh, houses to sell, you know. There's no one really. So those vacuum cleaners? The those Kirby. were $1,000 when they were new. Can you imagine that? That one right there was $1,000 when it was new. Could you imagine spending $1,000 on a vacuum? Can you imagine that? I mean, <laughs> people still spend $500 on a Dyson now. Yeah, but $1,000 back then, I mean, how much money is that today, you know? Woo! Yeah. That's a lot of cash. Well, they, they bought it. Uh, I think it was 
bought it, they, you know, used it forever. Oh, there. So you got a BB gun. You got moving blankets here, Dave. Holy. You got Both pneumatic five, tools. Batteries for little kids. What's that handle coming to? It looks like you got tents right here. <clears throat> Golf clubs. The kitchen sink. Everything and the kitchen sink. We got. Oh, that's the thing for. Pressure washer. And another. That's a. Wow. That's a small patio door, or... I think it's a window. I know, but it's a floor to ceiling. I mean, look at it. It's a big window. It's a big slider. Oh, these are the best right here. The ones I'm always looking for. I got like five oh, of them. another toolbox! I, I just, just got one! Yeah. Hey, you just got that stainless one, didn't you? Yeah! I'm taking it to Sturgis. I got two. Look at the, what, the helmet. Everything. Load it up. This ladder right here, Dave. I know, I saw that. Those are money all day. Those are 200 bucks all right, right there. We better get to the next one. We don't want to loot and miss out on that. No, no. You know, Russ, the bus. That's a hell of a big... This one looks deeper. This is the one I liked a lot. I was bidding on this unit. Yeah, but you stopped at like 100. Well, I still bid on it. Two air conditioners, there's... 150, some depends. I saw the two ACs. Oh, they say there's diapers over here. Lots of diapers. Look at that. Cases and cases of diapers. I didn't know what was in those boxes. That's what got me interested. Oh, here's your keys. This is all the shit. Oh! This is his pills. Holy pills. He used this as his pills. Look at that. syringes. Dude, you're loaded now. You made your money back. What are they? Hey! One thousand milligrams. Here's your BBs for your BB gun from the other unit. <laughs> What's that called? Metroforma? I don't know. Does it say don't take with alcohol? Then they're good. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you, they're good. Oh, all the drugs. Look at it. You got a whole thing full. Yeah. Drugs found in storage unit. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, Bryant. those are some shoes right there. But they're from Wayne Bryant. Look at that. Oh, those are cute. A pogo stick! Uh uh. Yeah, that's gonna cost you, Rob. There you go, Dave. You can only videotape Dave. it. Here you go, Dave. Size 11? Hey. Jesus. Here, I'm gonna turn you this way. So, it's a little dark. <laughs> You're barely showing up. Yeah, yeah, this okay, I am gonna try this again. Hopefully, I don't kill myself. Let's see, let's jump on here. Alright, I'm not doing too bad. Brand new Cleveland Browns hat, Dave. Brand new teddy bear. I thought this hey, was. You want somebody to ride with you in the back so you feel safer? I I'll take them. <laughs> I'll take them. I'll feel better. Oh, right here. Xbox 360, though. Heck yeah. But it's still the Ge Gears of War. That's a special edition. Yeah, that's worth money. So there might be some stuff in here, Dave. That's How's your favorite this one? Look at that, it's in here. Viper gaming headset. No, it's everything else. How'd you pay for this one? I think 350 on this one. 350, two ACs, but Xbox. It, it, Waffle didn't get it, so it was priceless. Right here, movies and games, so man. Uh, I don't see many games in there. I was hoping you have a bunch of Xbox games. All right, let's go, Teddy. Oh, look at it, it's locked. Oh, they took the lock off. I know, they had a lock on it. That's so where you put your special stuff at night, Dave. All right, everybody, here we are cruising with Dave Lilly. He bought two units of the three today. Wapple bought the other one. I'm on the back of the truck. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. You never know what you're going to see, where you're going to go, and what Rob's going to be doing. So, auctioneer extraordinaire here. And don't forget, you can bid on items at www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. What's his vision to go back? So, he ended up having to not be able to create these anymore. Um, but these are from 1962. Uh, it's the Austin Enterprises. Uh, they're made out of aluminum. 
Uh, he worked with Alcoa Aluminum uh, to manufacture these chess sets. Um, I did look. Uh, these bigger chess sets uh, were going between fourteen to sixteen hundred dollars at auction, and then these smaller ones uh, were going for between four to five hundred. Uh -huh. um, I have one, two, three, four large sets, two uh, two small sets, and these are backgammon boards. Backgammon boards, and they're backgammon suitcases he designed uh, with marble chips. Uh, then also, there is three of them actually. This one is brand new. Literally, still never been used. Um, with the instructions and everything. Yeah, brand new, still brand As with this okay. one, the outside is older because it's obviously from 1964 uh, is this one. Um, but this one's also brand new and it's never been used. See the handle got cracked, unfortunately. Yeah, it did, and that's like it's is really this so old? Yeah, it's just like it got so old and brittle. Uh, I have backgammon boards. Um, this is a uh, maple Holy smoke. Uh, chess set. This one is actually what's this glass? Uh, yes, oh, it's cool. glass. So it's you gotta be kind of careful with it because it does break very easily because of how old they are. Indented in, and then these pieces themselves were handmade to fit into this hole and they call it uh, inlay yep they're inlaid yeah that's real nice you gotta be really good to do that kind of stuff and this is from american mercury corporation um this is the number three for, of Aston, illinois uh i don't know uh, this is his, some of his news releases and i just figured i'd just show you this I mean, it's not really something for sale or... Right, I understand. It's just going to tell you. But it's just, like, gives you more of an idea of what he did as a company. Um, back in the day, you know how the Playboy Mansion uh -huh. uh, has a full entire six-foot-tall chess set? My grandpa's the one that actually designed it. Oh, wow. And uh, he got... It was, like, a $100,000 chess set that he did for him. Cause he yeah. did the he could floor. afford it, huh? Yeah, well, he did the floor in an entire room and the pieces were six and a half feet tall made out of aluminum that's awesome yeah um i have also a mickey mantle autographed baseball um this one i believe was signed by everyone from the 1996 indians team yeah, like this one looks good I'd say that's real. This one is um, just what you call it. It's um, they like put the signatures on there, so yeah. they're not real signatures. Okay. Like that one. This one. I have a Mickey Mantle signed ball myself personally, yeah. and that looks the signature looks good. Yeah. And the other thing is, I mean, the, the everything's right on it so far. I mean, I have to look under magnifying glass, and then yeah. Other thing is that uh, you might see it better on here. I don't know. But I can see like an ink, like right here yeah. on the on there, you can see like the ink bleed. Uh -huh. That's a good sign. Um, so I would say that's legit. Um, back in the day also, do you know how Richard Nixon had the glasses uh, for the, his campaign? My grandpa's actually the one that designed them. Holy smoke. Um, and he received this. I know a lot of people received this uh, without a, and it was a stamped signature. But if you look here, you can see the indentures of the pen and how the pen was bleeding out. Um, and so that was, that I believe is an actual signature, um, based off of how he just like stopped writing. Um, this is an engraving by James Gilroy of 1792, uh, courtesy of the Liberty of Congress. Um, these, I'm not actually sure what these are. Um, but I, they, I mean, I believe they're handmade, you know, they're very, I don't, they're very articulate. They don't have any names on it though, which is kind of what worries me, you know? Yeah. I've seen things like this before. I mean, they're very decorative, nice pieces. I, I don't think they have tons of value though. Yeah. I just wasn't sure on them. So I was kind of going to get your opinion on it. Yeah. I don't, uh, yeah, I would say they're, 
unfortunately probably worth five bucks a piece or something Fair like enough. that. Um, these are, uh, this is a Rick Myers uh, autographed uh, and then laminated. That's pretty sweet. This one is Johnny Rudolph, which is autographed and laminated also. But I was never able to actually find one from 1903. Yeah, I don't think it's actually 1903. I think it's about the World Series of 1903 and trivia. And like right here, if you look on the bottom there. Yeah, I just didn't want to pull it out and yeah. open it because I yeah. wasn't sure if it was actually it's, that old. Yeah, this is 1991. Okay, so, so that's it's, not it's a score. Yeah, I've had these before, like the whole set. Yeah. And they have trivia about all the different World Series. So, yeah, it's not worth really anything, unfortunately. Okay. Um, and then over here, there is... This is just something he did uh, in Seoul, Korea, uh, when he was designing stuff. He was doing... Uh, you know the Aztec temples over, like, by North Korea? Uh, he was creating a Mayan chess set. Huh. Uh, and he designed it a Mayan chess set based off of the sculptures and everything that was around the temples. Huh. Uh, and he made it out of marble. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I just kind of use that as like a focal piece, you know what I mean? Uh, this is an all clear. It's like lucite or something. Yeah, this actually, you could hit this with a hammer yeah, and it's like that. nothing would happen to it. Yeah, that one know? plastic, I think it's called like lucite. It's, it's like really strong, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, probably almost bulletproof. Um, Sorry. This is, it's like a, if you spin it, you can read it. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, I see. I'm not sure exactly what it says, but I also have smaller ones right here. Uh, and these were manufactured in 1976 uh, from Austin Enterprises. Holy smoke. He sounds like a creative, interesting guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know the de-icers on airplanes? Uh-huh. Uh, him, there was five people that uh, helped create it. Uh, this photograph actually right here. Uh, was the plane that they flew. Uh, they flew over Alaska the first time, and it actually, the plane started to sputter and shut down, and they had to do a crash landing. Oh my gosh. But the second time they did it, it actually worked out, and they were able to do it and everything um, successfully. I also have arrowheads. I'm not sure if you, your company would be interested in that. Some of them, I, I'm not exactly really knowledgeable about arrowheads, um, but I know you probably know more about it than I would, you know? Yeah, arrowheads are one of those weird things. What makes them really valuable, or more valuable, if you know the location and uh, yeah. what tribes and things like that they came from. Yeah, and like, I know typically that would be based off of the design, I believe. Well, yeah, some design, but like you know, a lot of people like um, I don't know. I have a couple of collections I've sold in the past. Yeah, and you know, like the one guy, he had uh, tons of arrowheads, and each one was like labeled, like he found it in uh, whatever valley, and it was uh, you know this yeah. Indian, all that kind of stuff, and yeah, this, these are pretty nice though. This is a decorative piece that uh, he made back in 1962 for the entire Ford plantation. Uh, they received a brown and a silver set of these. So you have both sets? create a full set. This is the only one I was able to find on the property. Um, based off of my mom's boyfriend passing away and stuff, uh, we're kind of just trying to do everything we can to be able to pay the house payment. And we're a few we're a few months behind right now. I understand. Now. And I'm just trying to get everything figured out. So these right here are also the same exact sets as these big ones. Hold on. This is a hanging wall sculpture. Um, it's a puzzle. Uh, the ultimate ultimate goal of the puzzle is to make a perfect square <laughs> out of the puzzle. Um, and it's actually. It's actually kind of tricky to do because there's only one certain way to do it. Um, these are just, that's just from this. Yeah, it's just the case. Um, but these are brand new, um, brand new full set. Same as these, this is a full set. Um, the rare ones, sitting. Yeah, it looks brand. It's been sitting since 1962 Holy uh, when he designed it. And it's a full set. Let me go all the way. Yeah, I see that. Hey you 
YouTube universe. How are we doing today? Auctioneer extraordinaire here with the man, the myth, the magic <laughs> Mike. That's right. Magic Mike's here today doing the little video for uh, photography for us. And, uh, you know, we have Shiloh Shane, we got Chachi Paparazzi, Joe, Tiny Tim. We got a bunch of people here. So, hey, we got lots more boxes to open up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. You don't never know what you're going to see at Second Sense. We go to hoarder houses. We go to all kind of different places. We buy storage units. Just never know. So take a look. SecondSense.com. You can bid on the items you see. That's the best thing. www.secondsense.com. And, well, I'll give you a choice, Mike. One, two, or three? Uh, two. Two. He goes for the one in the middle, the tall one. Let's see what we got in here. Well, it's full of stuff. What the heck? The household brand washing machine. So it's like a miniature little washing machine. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Interesting, something different. What is? Oh, nice. Coca-Cola collectible cars, 1970s, right there. Very cool. The real thing, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola always sells. Oh, look at this. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We got a little Vietnam era canteen right there. And man, I feel for anybody that was there, my father in law, he had some crazy times in Vietnam. He don't even talk about them. So, oh, look at this. Remember your dad used to do this, Mike? <laughs> oh, they never told you that was your dad. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to break the news <laughs> oh, to you. Not the milk, man. No, you see, you got, I figured I got it'd it. take a minute. Yeah, it took a second. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah. Look at the little milk, man. Look at that. You see the bottles a lot, but you never see the carriers. And this is from Lawson's. That's a local place. Nice piece, huh, Mike? Oh, yeah. Brings you right back. <laughs> Baby, I'm back. What the heck? I'll grab this thing. Oh, my gosh. Holy smoke. Wow. I thought that was plastic. It's porcelain. That's a little, uh, you put your little lemonade in there or something, or fruit punch. Mike's Long Island iced tea. Hmm. Oh, Mike. The hard stuff. The hard stuff. What is, hey, look at this guy. You can put on there, second sense auctions. <laughs> Pick up today. Everyone likes a fat chef. I used to cook, ladies and gentlemen, and my brother said, Sorry, but we can't trust this skinny chef. <laughs> you're a skinny chef, your food might not be that good. You know what I'm saying? That's what my brother thought, at least. <laughs> oh, nice. We got some cast iron. That's a Wagner ware. And this is a sizzle skill skillet. And we got the square pan. Oh, say it's that, not marked. Say that five times fast. Sizzle skillet, 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 sizzle skillet. Even an auctioneer can get tongue-tied. <laughs> Actually, we used to practice them in auctioneer school. Yeah. So, yeah, we had the, uh, the little tongue twisters. <laughs> so, let's see. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck chuck as much wood a woodchuck could a woodchuck chuck wood? How much wood a woodchuck chuck? And then the other one was like, see, the big black cat ran across the roof with a piece of raw liver in his mouth. And you're like, that doesn't sound hard. You try saying it. Woo! Look at this scale right here. Now, this is a nice piece. It has the glass still. The nice thing, it has the blue and red, it has a good thing, and it has this nice green paint. The original decal still on that side. Right here, dig decal. So it's a nice display piece. Oh, speaking about display piece, check this out. Cream of wheat. On wood, little advertising piece. Oh, that's nice. And uh, unfortunately, Cream Week guy probably ain't gonna be around anymore, so it's just gonna go up in value. Up, up, up in value, and what else in the box? Nothing, Mike. Whoa. <laughs> so, we've got two more boxes to go. We can't wait to see what else is in there. I already found some cool vintage pieces. Cream Week guy, I mean, come on. Scale, glass, the chef, Mike's dad's old job delivery, Milkman. <laughs> He's laughing at me. I'm joking, his dad wasn't a Milkman, okay? The postal man. Anyway, oh. keep walking now, and you never know what you're gonna find. Wait till you see what's next. We got two boxes over here still to go through. All right, you pick the last one. You pick the biggest box. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the small 
Good things come in small packages. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Every box is fragile. Fragile. <laughs> did you ever have did you ever see on a box not fragile? No. Never. <laughs> not fragile. Don't worry about it. Okay. Ooh. Wow. I don't even know what this thing is, but it looks expensive. I I should have you take it out. No. Look at this piece. Wow. I mean, I don't think the camera's gonna do the color justice. It is this unbelievable blue, purple. It's got like pink and I don't know, what do you say? I mean, unbelievable piece Almost of carnival a bit glass. Of carnival glass, yeah. Now we gotta look on the bottom to see if it's marked. I don't see a mark on there. Now there's a tag on here. Let's see what they put on here. It says Fenton Basket. I mean, it is Fenton style. It's, it could be Fenton. And Fenton didn't mark everything, so I will go with it, but wow. I mean, it's a huge, beautiful, beautiful piece of glass. And this is what was inside of it. Let's see, Mike. Oh, it's another little basket. Wow. And this one is marked Fenton right there. You see this? This has that iridescence. See that nice little sheen color, like an oil spill almost. Iridescence. Nice little basket. And these are money pieces, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely people collect that. Oh! Wow. I like this one just because of that. It has the original Fenton basket. Shows you the different piece on the back here, who makes it. And this has that blue kind of iridescence too. Kind of goes to that almost milk glass. That's a beautiful piece. So we've got definitely some collective pieces in here. Oh yeah. What's your favorite animal? Uh, that's right, a rooster. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Mike, he's like thinking. Um, it's a rooster now, Magic Mike. <laughs> Too late. Check it out. Cast iron, book ends. Those will wake you up in the morning. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. Yes, look at that. That. This is probably Fenton too. This is a vase, but see, this is all hand painted, ladies and gentlemen. And then the person that's painted it signed the bottom. It says hand painted by. And there's certain artists out there that people collect by Fenton and other companies out there. So these hand painted pieces sometimes can be worth a lot, lot more money. So don't just say, oh wow, look it up, do some research or put it in my auction. Then you don't have to do any research, we'll sell it for you. So I think that's the last of that box. We've got one more box to go. Hopefully some more, I mean, this piece alone is, I would say like jaw dropping, big money. So who knows what else we're gonna find. One more box, let's keep watching. Another box of greatness here. Man, I can't wait to see what's in this one. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, oh. I'm joking, I'm joking. Look at this. It's all wrapped. Really nice, nice, nice. Ooh. This is like one of those copper pots. This is all hand pounded out. Dimpled, whatever you want to call it. And who knows what's going to be in here? We found so many cool things already. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that was Mike when he was a kid. Mm -hmm. He posted the bottle. Says his dad worked for the Mel Company. <laughs> um, I got lots of stories, ladies and gentlemen. I keep going on and on and on and on. And shut up, Rob. I know. Look at this piece. That's a little hand blown base right there. It's marked on the bottom. West Virginia. West Virginia, take me home to the place that I know. Oh, sorry. So this is like carnival glass, um, amber glass. I guess that kind of a, you know, sheen to it, but it's a nice piece. Maybe this 
whole box and this will be loaded with all kind of collectible pieces, glass, and uh, of course, aw, the kids and the dog, aw, how cute, how cute. Did you ever have a dog, Mike? When I was a kid. What was the name of your dog? Scruffy. Scruffy? Mm-hmm. Original. Like it. Yeah, real original, right? Could have been Max or, uh, whoa! Now this this kind of design is usually called hobnail, but man, that's a crude it. Oil, vinegar, wine, whatever you want to put in there. We don't care. Let's get it out of here, man. But look at that. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of glass. I don't get excited about glass much, but man, when I see nice pieces, and I know they're going to bring me some money like this piece right here. Look at this vase. Oh, look at it. Hand signed, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, look at that piece. All hand painted. Probably another piece of fenton. Those hand painted piece, you know, that's a, that's a piece of art. It's one of a kind. That person only painted that one time, that base, and painted another one. They might paint them similar, but they're all different in their own way. Look at this, it's like a little ashtray there. Oh, I like that one. That's a pretty cool piece of glass, this art glass. And it's getting more and more popular. People are really starting to collect the art glass again. And, you know, oh, man. Made in Japan. It's marked right here. But these kind of figures, you know, you got to look for, like, the flowers to be broken off. Like here on the hat. These are little things you got to look at. I see a little tiny chip there. Overall, pretty good condition. These are real fragile. The old Japanese. Oh, wow. Another nice vintage old figurine that's signed on the bottom. Who knows? What the heck is this? Oh. Michael, Michael the candlestick maker. <laughs> is that how it happened? No. Whatever. I only work here on the weekends, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Speaking of which, what's day? Monday. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Oh, Mike, did you see this? I did not. Not only is it... Whoa! Ooh. Ha! 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 <laughs> don't cut yourself. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. Only if you're a professional auctioneer, you say, what do you give it down? Give it to 75, 100, now, 100, now, 140, now, 175, yeah! So look at these dual, dueling swords right here. Pretty cool piece. Gotta be worth at least 50 bucks, what do you think, Mike? Yeah. That's sure. only $25 a sword. I think that's a bargain. <laughs> that might be a steal of a deal. Got little angels. And this whole box is just loaded with all kinds of different pieces. I mean, it's so rare. Who knows? You know, we've already found a cool piece of fenton. Got little figurines. Holy basket. basket wow. and it's just loaded with more pieces in here I mean who knows so much to go through and that's my job man you got to go through go through sometimes you find treasure sometimes you find trash but you always find something and you never know what you're gonna see next that's why Mike likes working here well we think he likes working here we're not <laughs> sure but uh right. there's just so much in here I mean I'll be all day unwrapping I'll unwrap a couple more pieces Wow Ooh, frosted. That's a really nice piece, huh? Yeah. And it's marked right there. It looks like it says Fenton. I've never seen a piece like that before. That's nice. You know, and these could be really rare, you know. Some of these rare pieces can go for big, big, big money. And you find a piece like that, then you want to keep going through and going through. And it's just like I said, you just don't know what's next piece is going to come through. You know, this is just some amber glass. Nothing too spectacular. Like I said, all this stuff is, I mean... Box is just so loaded. Wow. Got a little, uh, looks like precious moments. A little top, just taped down. What's this big old box? Whoa! Heaven and Earth. Maybe I can change the auction company to that. <laughs> Heaven and Earth Auction Company. 
I mean, there's just so many. This looks like another figurine. Who knows? Just keep watching. Second Sense Auctions. Look at this nice vintage piece. Made in Japan. But you never know what you're going to see. You never know what we're going to find. I mean, so much stuff to go through. So many great auctions. So many great finds. Keep watching. We appreciate everybody out there. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Don't forget you can bid on items. www.secondsense.com. And you might get a chance to see the man, the myth, the legend, Magic Mike. <laughs>